Hey hello everybody, my name is Katerman, welcome back to another video of Watch Dogs Legion, we're going to continue the series, boys. Today we're going to be playing as our lawyer, which is uh, called, I don't, I forget her name, Anna, there we go, Anna Lim, boys. She's our lawyer, I'm going to use her, because it's been a while since I've used her, uh, it's so, uh, such a while that I haven't uh, ch changed her underwear or anything, so need to change that up. Also, we needed to, uh, to do the team briefing, because... Everybody on our team right now is having a problem. We all got uh, basically doxxed and leaked. So that's uh, our information are leaked and we got doxxed big time. So that is not good, boys. Gotta change that up. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get into a better uh, better overall suit and everything. I think I've got the right, uh, yeah, I got the right stuff for the rest. And uh, for this, I, I, mean, I, I think I unlocked, there we go, I unlocked a new... Uh, a new thing, actually, I like that. I like that quite a lot. Let me uh, just see this. No, okay. Yeah, I'll keep. Uh, I keep the one I already have, though. Looks kind of cool, boys. All right, let's talk to everyone, boys. Let's make sure that uh, to see what's going on here. That's uh, really bad. We just got doxxed big time. This is a message for Dead Sake. I believe Richard Malik is about to murder me in some gruesome way. Did you see Malik? Tell him. I was destroyed by a series of explosions and an individual known to be part of the dead sec organization was seen on cctv attempting to flee the area sirs new director of counterterrorism richard malik issued the following statement i call upon my counterparts around the world to treat the dead sec threat with all due vigilance they are not a resistance what are they resisting they are an international terrorist militia and along with my counterparts in the five eyes nations i am building and you get the idea your butt it's a fucking bloodbath out there why are we not killing this guy yes i would recommend that all scenarios show dead sex odds of survival approaching zero before he can be found malik probably worked out the same thing yeah we actually had some ideas about that take it away bags Done. The working theory is this. Blowing up a government building like Canada House would require bribes, an infiltration team, material, and so on. Doing it without leaving a paper trail would be impossible. Some of you nicknamed this paper trail the Malik Dossier. We're going to break into SRS headquarters, steal it, and prove Malik was behind the bombing. If we're lucky, we might even find some details on Zero Day. Your mission's list has been updated. So this literally was the best, uh, the embassy of Canada as well, which means the Canadians are gonna hate our ass too. This is not good. It's not worth it. On the contrary, I think what Malik knows about Zero Day and the bombings outweighs the well-being of any individual operative. Malik ought to be taken alive and interrogated. Okay, well we gotta infiltrate the goddamn SRS IHQ. This is a job for my spy, to be honest. It's, this is a job for my spy. It's not a job for my lawyer. My lawyer is not good with this. What am I supposed to do with her right there? This is really not good, boys. Oh, well. Uh, you know what I'm, uh, I'm going to have to do? Uh, I, I'll have to figure this out because this is, this is kind of scary. I'm going to lose my characters and stuff like that for sure. All right, let me see. Uh, map, where is it at? It's over there. Yeah, the goddamn Canadian embassy just got destroyed in half. So definitely, they're not going to be happy about this. All right, fast. And we're, uh, now we're trailed out as being terrorists as well. This is really not good. Breaking news, a large explosion has occurred at the Canadian High Commission in Trafalgar Square. SIRS has issued a statement that the terrorist organization DedSec is active once again after months of relative silence. If you suspect anyone of being a member of DedSec, report them to SIRS immediately using your CSA app. Okay, I'm here. Do we have a plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So how do we handle this? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Surge uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like noodles, maybe you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. You glorious robot. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. 
Now, how do I get up there? I don't seem to find a way to get up into the roof right here. Maybe there's a, another path on this side. Gotta find my way up the roof, boys. I would probably need joy or something. I need to use my specialist a little bit more uh, for this side submission. Unless I can just go in there. Oh, well, I could just do that. But uh, if I go there, this is not good. But if they're going to know that uh, that's me right there. Okay, hold on. I know exactly what to do right there. There we go, just like that. Now, first things first. Yeah, there's got to be a way for me to enter the buildings and stuff like that. Now, I'm in. Officially, I'm in, but uh, I gotta take him out. Son of a bitch. Take him out. Take him out right now. Okay, let, you know what? No, you don't. No, time to uh, to time to kill everyone, boys. Time to kill everyone. There we go. We're good. Let's get in, boys. We're infiltrating this. I don't give a fuck anymore. We're going in. Uh, let me uh, just kill this guy really quick. There we go. He's dead. You're dead. You're all dead. There we go. Just like that, boys. I'm not messing around. I'm killing everyone. My lawyer is going in big time. All right, let me uh, actually down, uh, download whatever this is. They're going to download the key if we need it or something. You never know. Just download this and uh, there's got to be a way up somehow. So we'll find that out, boys. All right, let's go in. Ain't nobody uh, is safe anymore. We're just going full in. We're not kidding around anymore. All right, let's go. Can I use this or uh, the elevator or something? Don't know if I, I don't think I can. How do I go up then if I can't use the elevator? All right, boys, I'm gonna try and use the drone right here. I think I gotta do it manually though. I'm not sure. Let me just fire my shotgun. Maybe I can shoot this thing up. I can't. See, I can't do anything. I gotta find my way up there and don't know how to do that. That's that's literally almost impossible to find my way up in there. Uh, unless I could, I just oh okay. It's like a puzzle thingy. Okay. No, never mind then. If it's a puzzle thingy, I should be able to do that. No problems then. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be much more the easier for me to interact with if I just have to do a puzzle. Interesting, boys. Okay. Yeah, they're giving me they're giving me a lot more of a, an easier time with this. Yeah, this is much more easier. This is what I wa I'm talking about. All right, good. And now you can unlock all of this. Unlock this. Okay, dude, good. Now it's done. And act this. Okay, so that's all you have to do? I just need to act a drone, I guess. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry. Channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security. But I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to listen to reason. Don't fucking listen. Zero Day took over Parliament security right before the bombings. This is their M.O. What are you talking about? I want dead set gone, but no one else needs to die. You've proven yourselves very skilled, and I could put those skills to use. Join me. You can still make something of your lives. Join Zero Day. I'd rather join Albion. Zero Day? No, I mean sirs. You've practically been working for me anyway. And besides, we have a lot in common. We both use violence and manipulation to shape London into something better. The only difference is I know what I want it to be. Strong, stable, unified, safe. This is what I value. What about you? Don't you fucking dare lecture me about ideology, you fascist prick. Fine. If we can't convince each other, then I suppose killing will have to do. I'm not gonna work with you. Man, you just set me up for to be a terror a part of a terrorist group. You really think I'm gonna work with you, dumbass? And Malik is up his ass right now. He really thinks we're gonna just start working with him after what he did? He might, he's definitely desperate. He that knows we're onto him. This place is beautiful, by the way. That's a beautiful little place. All right, uh, let's interact with, connect with this. There's gotta be another puzzle incoming. I, I, I can feel it, boys. All right, we're connected right here. What's next? Access denied. Are you serious? What now? Well, shit, we've been locked out. Oh, and it seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. I'm sorry, what? 
Microwave drones, one of filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. Any ideas? Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Excuse me? What did you just say? Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, I might need to... There we go. So I need to use these microwave droids... And shoot these guys down. Are you... There we go. Okay. So that, that's all I have to do. There we go. There's, uh, there goes one right there. There. Oh, okay. There goes another one right there. Okay. I gotta take him out right here. Just like that. Okay. All done. All done. All done. Boom. Okay. There's another one. There goes another one. It's, uh, it takes a long time to reload though. But there we go. I got one. And is there any other? I see one other. Okay. Any ideas? A full power cycle will reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion. But Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. So we're gonna unplug it and plug it back in. Close enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot everybody, boys. I see. There we go. I'm gonna use a drone to uh, shoot everybody. Now there's a bunch of stuff I'm supposed to do right here. Oh, I can just go out with my character, I guess. There we go. My character can handle that shit. She can definitely do that. Let's go, Anna. You got this. Uh, reboot everything. So, first one we need to reboot is over here. So, a bunch of computers we just need to do. Just don't let me do puzzles, all right? Just make this uh, a bit easier for me. There we go. That's an easy job right there. That's what I want. Uh, that's what I want. Let me uh, take this guy out. Take down. There we go. Just like that, boys. And the uh, next up, I do know... I noticed there's a drone right there, but he's not like he doesn't see me or anything. They're pretty small drones, so maybe that's why they don't notice me or anything. Let me uh, get out there before this guy sees me. There is another uh, another one right there. Uh, there we go. Last computer right here, boys. We should be able to interact with it. Let's go, boys. Are we good now? Every everything is going to start working. We got to stay in here. Well, okay, so while we're staying in here, I guess we're just downloading and everything. Are you serious? Defend the downloads. We're almost, almost done, boys. 99%? 100%. This, thing, this almost took like two, uh, three, four minutes of time. It was a pretty long mission, pretty repetitive. There was some dialogue there, but nothing important. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's get out of here, boys. We got what we wanted out of this, so. No need to worry anymore. Let me uh, just get off. Yeah, we don't even need to hide our face anymore. Let's get out of here, man. We got uh, all the information we needed. The computer is about to get done. We're gonna fucking wreck Malik to the uh, to the ground right there. Just like that, everything's back. Good. Finally, it took a while. But we managed to do it, boys. Just like that. I believe I can trace his position. Get Good. It. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right. Wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh, look. It seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now enabled. Fuck! Hello again. You know... For all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly under pressure. Well, looks like uh, that was pretty easy. Now it's literally going towards us, so we're good. Uh, next stop, so though. I sent the Malik dossier to every media outlet from the GBB to the Aberystwyth Sheep Farmers Gazette. It may take some time to sort through, but it ought to clear Densec's name. At least for this particular thing. What about Malik? made the mistake of getting into a self-driving car that owed me a favor. It's taking him to a secure location. 
Any reason we can't just drive that car right into the Thames? Believe me, I'd love to, but he might be part of Zero Day. I just don't know how this all fits together, but we need to find out. You hear that, Malik? You're going to help us for real this time. Bloody hell, you insane robot! Slow down! Well, looks like we got him captured or kidnapped. But uh, next up, I we gotta figure out, yeah, what Malik's dossier. We gotta figure out what it was all about because we know we know he's some in some ways he's part of all of this, but how you know that's what we don't know. Okay, so mission completed. Next mission, where's it at? Uh, do we have it yet? Nope, we don't have it yet. And you see, we have Malik, and we had these three per person. The only persons we don't we didn't have yet is the guy on control of Albion and the main dude, right? The one that actually did the the main villain, basically. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him, find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him. All right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. We're going back. Okay. Safe house time, boys. Uh, I'll try uh, fast travel there. I'll see you in a minute. All right, we're in, boys, into the headquarters, and we're about to interrogate him big time. He's in our jail right now. What do you have to say for yourself, Richard? We know you false flagged Canada House, Malik, and we know you had a hand in the earlier bombings too. Tell us everything. The earlier bombings? What are you? Oh God, I've been captured by morons. I didn't do those bombings. I tried to stop those bombings. I am a patriot, and they called me a crank, even Emma. But that's when I knew that intelligence wasn't enough. To save the Empire, I would need power, and fast. So how did you know about Zero Day before contacting us? I'm a spy. So yes, I knew a few details about the biggest terrorist attack in recent memory. Truth to tell, I really did think Zero Day was you. That's just... Occam's razor. But if you insist on a conspiracy, Albion stood the most to gain. Have you briefly not thought of this? Yeah, we've been down that road. Meanwhile, you're rocked in here. You've done more than enough to deserve it. Oh, I doubt I'll be here long. These walls will fall along with all of you soon enough. This radical cooperative you've created is doomed to fail, like they all are. I've seen it a dozen times in a dozen places. You will tear yourselves apart. You won't even need Zero Day or Albion or whoever. A single unified ideology, a single strong leader. These have been the characteristics of power for all of human history. Democracy and pluralism were anomalies, blips on the timeline. That's what you are, dead set. A footnote in the history of the Empire. But now the page is turning, and you are not ready for what happens next. Whatever makes you comfortable, Malik. Keep thinking that. Ain't gonna change the situation that you're in the jail right now. Alright then, Spy Game's done. Chapter completed, boys. We're on to the next chapter. We're going uh, once again against uh, Albion. Good. We need to take out that goddamn Albion contra uh, that Albion guy. Once and for all, man. Uh, restoking the fire, alright. ...from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel Bloody Cass a black eye. Okay, meet the Albion informant. So we got another informant. Haven't we got down this road already? This was our previous informant right here. He's in jail now. Now we got to talk to another informant. Are we crazy or are we not crazy, boys? I don't know at this point. All right, let's just go there, I guess. Uh, I'll fast travel there. All right, we're here, boys. Let's see what the news has to say right now. Looks Public like we got some breaking news. Today ...following counter-terror director Malik's statement that the Five Eyes nations will execute a coordinated global response to the DedSec threat. Okay, I got that. What is the service doing to protect the people of Britain right now? Well, we're aiming a little higher than just Britain. Soon we can know if anyone in any CTOS using country in the world so much as utters the word DedSec. Thank you. 
SIRS advises citizens that positive discussions of the DedSec terrorist organization or their actions may result in investigation. That's terrible. That's really terrible. All right, let's wait it out. Let's wait for our informant right here. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? It would take a lot more than this to do that. The attack occurred just as Audi CEO Nigel Pax was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire. Aim fire. Liar! You fucking liar! Come on, just get up the wall! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these nonsense. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London. We carry on as we are, these attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can we stop before they even start? And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat. Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. What a bunch of nerds. Retards, boys. Of course they're going to think anything the news has got to say. News is not, it always says the wrong thing, boys. Everybody should know that. Without a doubt. That contrived speech for the cameras. We have to get to that attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. The timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. Okay, well, let's investigate the attack side, boys. Where is it at exactly? All the way there. Why do I have to always fast travel maybe five seconds? I feel like we're always going from one place to the other, like from one neighborhood to the other, all the time, boys. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, SIRS disputes the veracity of the documents, though sources within the organization claim that Richard Malik himself has fled the country following what one described as an unprecedented and humiliating data breach. As more of the dossier is independently verified, counter-terror experts speculate that the bombings earlier this year may have also been misattributed to DedSec. Well, yes, obviously they've been misattributed because obviously everybody's going to blame the one group that's trying to save them. Bunch of dumbasses. All right, let's get in there, boys. We're going in there. You want to see terrorists? I'll show you terrorists. Just like that. There we go. I'll show you some terrorists right there, boys. Let's go in. There is a CTOF data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Will do. Yeah, there we go. I'm not an amateur like the one that uh, the actor you uh, you paid for uh, during that uh, that live TV uh, <laughs> thing, right? I am not an actor. I'm actually the real thing right here. You best watch out. This was clearly an actor too, man. Totally, they Come acted on, that out perfectly. Okay, so we got that done. A uh, reconstruction, boys. Time to figure out what happened here. We already know that they paid actors for this shit, man. Clearly false. Look at all these dead people, though. This is not good at all. All right. So, what are we trying to find right here? Maybe we're trying to figure out where it went. This does look like pro-terrorism in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. There are way too many people with access to professional weaponry. I'll go have a look. Okay. Analyze the situation. Yeah, this it's way too professional. 
Way too professional, man. They know what the hell they're doing. They obviously paid these guys to Searching facial recognition to do this. And here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing. Until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me onto Themis. My contact inside Albion. Turns out it wasn't a false flag after all. Makes sense. Cass wouldn't need to bribe anyone to want him dead. That comes naturally. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks have black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. Okay, what's the next one? There's gotta be. Oh, there we go. Right there under the truck. You know the black box. There we go. Box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. You should run the plates too. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something <laughs> it does look like it. Pissed this guy off. That might be a good thing. We can exploit any sort of dissension in the Albion ranks. But let's make sure we're right. We need a better look at that truck. Alright, so let's get a better look then. Uh, Bagley, do your thing. Research that car. Find out what you can about it. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. Tone? Makes sense of that. Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they'd like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Yep, agreed. I feel like we're about to get uh, real right here. We're about to get close to Nigel eventually. A search for the evidence at Tone. I can do that. Let's see what the breaking news has to say right now. SRS counter terror director Malik personally oversaw an investigation that uncovered the true identities of every operative in Dead Sex London cell. Okay, that's all they had to say. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, that, that was pretty quick. Uh, not a lot of uh, not big news or anything. But let me uh, find out boys more stuff. I'm actually going to go and travel to that location. So give me a few seconds. All right, this is the location right here, boys. We went the, we went here already before with our spy. I've arrived at Tone. This is where they brought the truck from Finsbury. That's right. But what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll go have a look. This is very repetitive. Because very often they're just gonna show, they're just gonna put you at the same locations and everything. I went with, with my spy be, uh, previously, right? You guys remember that area? It's literally the same spy as before. I did not notice that. They're already really gonna show me the same places every time. Let's go in, boys. I don't care. Don't care if there's turrets attacking me or anything. I'm just going in. Not playing stealth at all in here. There we go. That's the car right there. Let's find out what happened to it. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio worth a listen. Okay, let's me uh, take out this guy real quick. The goddamn guard uh, came out of nowhere for no reason. I'll take him out. Oh, there's a guard right here. Shit. The hell? Oh shit, he's got some AR stuff? I can't see him. Oh, okay. Is that really how it's gonna go then? Let me take out everybody. Locate the driver's corpse? Okay, well, I can do that. But first, I need to take care of these goddamn guys. Like, they're all over my ass right now, boys. That is that is not good at all. Let's get the hell out of here. Everybody's trying to kill me right now. It's not good. There's a goddamn turret on my ass too. Let's go. Kill him off. Kill him off. Kill that. Uh... Alright, we got it. Got it, boys. Okay, the corpse is supposedly right there. I'm about to die, too. I gotta be careful. Don't want my, uh, I don't want to lose my lawyer or anything. Is that the corpse? Nah, this guy's been dead too long to be our attacker. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died. Oh, it's right around the tone bombing. So that's what mystery solved. Shit, I'm gonna die, boys. I'm nearly gonna die right here. I'm dead. I'm dead. There we go. Just like that. Anna Lim just died, boys. We just lost our lawyer. Yeah, well, shit happens, I guess. We just lost our lawyer, boys. Uh, we'll continue this mission with uh, Joy in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.